and welcome to Yoga with Susan Kelly. This is the beginning of our week and this 10 minute class we're going to come up with a few different ideas to help with mindfulness. Okay, let's, uh, let's begin first. I'd like you to be sitting tall and if you need to sit on a few blocks or a rolled up blanket or a bolster, that might help. And let's begin first talking about the breath. Okay, in yoga, there's a lot of different breathing, but in our asana practice, we are primarily using the ujjayi breath, which is both in and out through the nose. Okay, bring your hand to your lower abdomen and one to your chest. And when you breathe in, I want you to breathe from the lower hand and draw it all the way to the upper hand. There's a slight pause and then exhale, press the breath all the way out. And again, draw the breath in and press the breath out. We want to keep the spine long while we do that. Now the Ujjayi breath is typified by having an inhalation that's equal to the exhalation, equal in effort and intensity. Okay, so we'll use a little count. Let's find that again. Draw the breath in now. Draw in one, two, three, pause, exhale, one, two, three. Let's do that one more time. Draw the breath in one, two, three, press the breath out, one, two, three. Okay, so three may not be the perfect count for you. Uh, if it needs to be longer or shorter, please feel free to vary that. Okay, so we're going to use that mindful breath to help, help us stay very grounded in our practice today. Okay, let's stand up, put the blocks to the side. This is Tadasana. In Tadasana, the hips are square to the long edge of the mat. I might refer to that again. When your legs are wide apart here, your hips are also square to the long edge of the mat because you're rotating your pelvis and holding onto your core. Okay, so in the standing poses, we would generally have the ankles under the wrists. Okay, can you just check that you've got that? You need to squeeze your legs in. The further apart your legs are, the less stable it will feel. And the more of you work your legs, you'll find that stability. Okay, and then bring your feet back together in Tadasana. So I have a, a clock set that's going to chime every minute. So that'll be a good amount of time to go through a number of standing poses. And if you feel like you need to come out and then go back in, in that minute time, feel free. Okay. First minute is on the clock. First minute, we'll do Trikonasana. Turn the right foot around. Push the left heel away. Squeeze the legs towards each other. Stabilize the pelvis. Bring the arms out to the sides. Turn your head. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring the hand down to the thigh and slide down. Finally, turning the head to look up. Can you find your Ujjayi breath now? Draw the breath in and press the breath out. Stay with this, draw the breath in. Press the breath out, practice being present. Draw the breath in and press the breath out. The longer you practice this, the easier it'll be. Draw the breath in, the thoughts will come Stand all the way up. Let's change sides, left side. Breathe in and then breathe out as you fold in. Slowly staying with the alignment, noticing where your mind goes and coming back to the breath. Drawing the breath in and pressing the breath out. Balancing the weight over the left and the right foot. 
draw the breath in and press the breath out. Hang in there, bring your mind back. Another breath. Coming all the way up and exhale. How are you going? Okay, we're going to bend the leg this time. Bend the right leg. You're going to bring your elbow to the knee or the fingers to the floor and take the upper arm over. The hips are square to the long edge of the mat. The knees directly over the ankle and the feet are both pressing down. You're looking through your armpit. Breathing in and breathing out. Yeah, so if the floor's too far away, you can be here with your elbow on your knee. Really extending both legs. Use your breath. Use an inhalation to come up and let's change sides. It's okay if it's difficult. We learn to notice what our response is one breath at a time. We make adjustments breath by breath. We learn to get strong breath by breath. We maintain our sensitivity breath by breath. Inhaling all the way up. Virabhadrasana two. Bend the leg. The arms are shoulder height. The drishti, that's the place that you look, is the tip of the longest right finger. So we hold our eyes still. We cultivate this equanimous breath. We keep bringing back the mind to this place, breathing in and breathing out. It's so great to have a rest from your head sometimes. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay with it. Breathe in and breathe out. We use an inhalation to come up and let's change sides. If you can, keep the arms out. That'll make them strong. Check that the knee stays over the ankle. We're looking to bring the thigh parallel to the floor. And the reaching through the fingertips away from each other will help you find your biceps and your triceps. Again, the drishti is the tip of the longest finger. Breathing in and breathing out. We use the breath yeah, to challenge the mind to be present. Draw the breath in and press the breath out. Breathe in come all the way up. Now we're turning the hips now to the short edge of the mat. It's the right leg that you're going to bend. So bend that leg, drop the tailbone, lift the front of the pelvis and let's take the arms up in line with your ears. Pull the ribs back and let's be here. We're practicing being present. Yes, our, the side benefits our strength and flexibility, 
But let's be here. We cultivate our curiosity rather than our judgment. Is this easy? Is this hard? It doesn't matter. Let's just be with it one breath at a time. We get to know ourselves very clearly through the practice of yoga. Breathe in, push that right leg straight. Again, keep the arms up if you can. Turn all the way around to the left side. Squaring the hips to the short end of the mat. Breathing in and breathing out. Stay with it. Breathing in and breathing out. Relax your jaw. Be curious. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in. Push the legs straight and bring your arms down. So let's, as our final pose, Padottasana. We're going to fold forward. So folding forward calms the nervous system down. You're going to hold your legs wherever you can, as close to the floor as you can. If your head is near the floor, you could press it down. Breathing in and breathing out. Press the whole of the feet down. Come back to this breath. Breathe in, look up, come up and bring the feet together. Okay, I imagine that was about 10 minutes. <laughs> I hope you feel fantastic and centered and present. You can use that breath all day long if you want. Okay, thank you very much for doing yoga with me. And I look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon. Namaste.